Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In our today's session, we are going to talk about how to enable our Fiori application run in Android device with the offline capability. So many times in our company, we would like to develop an application to run in our mobile device and in spite of being running in a mobile device, we would also want to run this application in an offline mode. You might have seen many applications utilize the offline feature, especially when there is no device network connectivity. So we can actually detect whether the device is online or offline. And accordingly, we can take a decision in our application development to show all the data from a local data model. In this process, how exactly an offline app works, and I will show you a demo of an offline application built using our hybrid application development training. So let's get started. So what is the typical process of handling an application both in online and offline mode? So the algorithm in this case would be that we have an application. The first thing what we do is we start our application and we make sure that the first time the application is booted in the online mode. So if it is the first time you're starting the application, make sure the user is online. If user is offline, of course, we cannot run our app in the first go itself. So in that case, it is going to end. But if it's online, then we are going to authenticate the user. And we will store the password to the local DB in a base64 encoded format. Once that is done, as a next step, we are going to also load all the data from the O data service and as well as store that data in the offline store. And then from there, the application ends. So this is the first step. Step number two, when the application start next time, we will check if the application is online if the application is online, then we are going to call our S4 HANA server and load all the data from an online store from the real server. But if the application is offline, in this case, we are going to utilize our offline store and load all the data from the offline store. Yes. Once the data is loaded from the offline store, we will display this data to the user. If user is interacting with the application and performing any post request, we are going to park this post request in the offline store. Later point of time, we will go online. So we will provide user a button to sync the changes with the online. In that case, we will read the data from the offline store and synchronize our changes to our S4 HANA system. Once the synchronization is done, we will write the synchronization status back to the offline store. And from there, user can check the status whether the data got synchronized or not. So this is the complete flow of how exactly an offline application works with Fury application. So let me demonstrate the demo over here in the system. So we have already built an offline application. Yes. So let me start my Android application which is built in offline mode. Yes, you can see here. So currently you can see the device is online and I'm just going to log in. So I'm going to log in my application. So first I will pass the correct credentials. And now you can see I have got all my data. It's working fine. Perfect. So which means I am connected to internet and there is a Wi-Fi connection and the app is fully working online. So by the time I was working with this app, I've initialized an offline store in the background and I have also stored both my credentials, including the, the data which has come from this server to an offline store. Now what I do is I switch off my Wi-Fi and I close the application <clears throat> and let's start the application again. So you can see there's a splash screen. And once the splash screen is passed through, the application opens. And now I'll enter my user ID password. So ideally, if this would have been a pure online application, it would have failed logging me. But since we have already an offline feature, 
in this hybrid application it should work so let me log in now and you can see we are authenticated yes perfect and now we can just see the data you can see the app is offline you see the network status because there is no connectivity <coughs> yes there's no connectivity and still the data is coming wow now i create a new product record so let me go click on plus and i will say i want to create a product record of2024 i'll say offline anubhav trainings that's a product i'm creating with some dummy data and let me put the price as 20 euros i click on save so guess what this data is saved now in an offline store because our connectivity is not there cool so where is the offline store i have also integrated that here so i can take you to this synchronization center and you see the app is uh, the data is not yet saved to sap it's not synchronized which means the data in my sap system doesn't exist so if i connect to my sap system let me go ahead and connect to my sap system you will see that we will not have a product called of2024 it's not there okay you can see entry is not there perfect so that's perfect my app is still having the data it is still stored the product but it's not synced with sap now i will go to online mode i switch on the wi-fi and i will start the synchronization of this data so let me trigger the synchronization now you can see we are back with the wi-fi connection and data is synchronized so if i go back after synchronization it should show me this uh, product of2024 being created in sap system so synchronization will take a bit of time and once the synchronization is complete we should be able to actually see the data created in the sap system so that's what should happen so I just refresh a bit and let's check and there you go you can see now my product has been created with the exact same amount 20 euros and it is being synchronized so maybe i just go back to the previous screen and come back here and you can see server is in sync so now it has got the status corrected saying that my offline data is synchronized with this server so as it looks very simple but it's not very simple because when you synchronize the data at times you might have large volume of data you might also have uh, a data record which was fetched quite a long back and now you're trying to synchronize there have been ma many several updates already to that data multi-user processing a lot of these things you need to keep it in mind and during the offline sync there may be load on the server there may be crashes there may be errors we need to manage all of that and that's why we create this separate sync screen to synchronize our offline data so this is how exactly we can build an offline app if you would like to learn how did i build this application end to end please feel free to subscribe our hybrid fury application development training the link of the course is given in the description of the current video if you like this work please like share and subscribe the channel do not forget to hit the bell icon it motivates us to bring more videos like this thank you so much see you in the next video goodbye